my name is Miss Donna, and I play the... What is this? Is it a clarinet? No. Is it a flute? Yes, this is a flute. This one is made out of silver and gold, and the flute is part of the woodwind family. It takes air to play. So my air is what is making the sound. Well, how does the rest of it work? I like stories. Do you like stories? A long time ago, there was a story from ancient Greece, and it was about someone named Pan. Not Peter Pan, not plain old Pan, but Pan. Well, Pan didn't look like everybody else. From the waist up, he looked like a boy. But from the waist down, he looked like a goat. See his legs? Now in the story, Pan, shh, is asleep in the forest. When all of a sudden, somebody or something wakes him. And Pan sees in front of him a beautiful fairy named Syrinx. And she sings that beautiful song. When Pan sees Syrinx, he decides to catch her. But first he says, Psst, come on over here. But Syrinx was scared and she ran and Pan ran right after her. And he thought he had her when she jumped into a lake. And she turned into reeds. Reeds are like a real long, tall little grass. Pan didn't know what to do. He sat down and he waited. In a little while, a breeze blew across the top of the lake, across the top of the reeds, and Pan heard the same song he heard Syrinx sing. So he walked into the lake. He pulled out some of the reeds. He cut some long, some short. He tied them together, and he made an instrument he called Pan Pipes. He took his own name, Pan, and he said, hey, these look like pipes. I'll call them Pan Pipes. Do you remember in the story the wind went across the top of the big tall grass? Mm -hmm. Watch what happens if I blow straight down into the Pan Pipes. <gasps> Nothing. But if we blow across, like in the story, in the same way you play a flute, <coughs> you get the sound. So that's how a flute works. Let's look again. Oh, but I need to show you this. Let's count how many tubes or pipes on this pan pipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I bought this in Peru so we could count in Spanish. Uno, dos, uh oh, I forget Spanish. Can you help me out? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Let's listen to the big one. <coughs> sounds like that. How about the little one? <coughs> it sounds higher. The big one, <coughs> low. The little one, <coughs> high. Let's look at the flute. It has a whole bunch of buttons on it. These are called keys. When I press down all of the keys, the air must stay inside the tube a long, long time. If I lift up this finger, the air is coming out here. That's making the tube shorter. Where should the sound go? Oh, higher. Let's listen again. Lift up a finger. Another finger. Another finger. Another finger. Right now, the air is coming out here. 
so the tube is shorter, the sound is higher. If I push my fingers back down, what's going to happen? Cool. But there's something even more interesting about the flute. I'm not going to move any fingers, but change my air. was change the path of the air. That makes this instrument very, very interesting. What else is interesting? Well, it comes in three parts. What if I take this part off? It's called the head joint. This is how best way to learn how to play the flute. in tune but you get the idea well can, can I play on this part let me see I won't be able to blow across it I don't think a little bit but how about like this <laughs> my best impression of a whale. And the final piece comes off. This is called the foot joint. What if I play this much of it? Will it still sound? Let's find out. <coughs> Who noticed? <coughs> Without the foot joint, the flute, this part of it, the body sounded higher. <gasps> All the things we can learn from musical instruments. Let's look at one or another, because this isn't the only kind of flute there is. How about this? Oh, this is made out of wood. It's quite small. It is called a fife. It was the original instrument that played this. <laughs> what is that? It's Yankee Doodle. The fife played Yankee Doodle and was important in the American Revolutionary War. Do I have anything else? Oh, oh, one of my favorites. This is made out of wood. This is called a Native American flute. The man who made this did not cut down a tree because to him the tree is alive. He found a branch on the ground, and then he talked to the branch. He said, may I cut into you to make a flute? Apparently, it said yes. So he took a big knife, and he cut in. This is called the saddle, and on it is a bear. A bear is a symbol of wisdom and strength. Let's listen. Oh, I play it down like this. I don't play it like this, do I? A totally different kind of flute. That is a Native American flute. Well, I'd like to say goodbye to you. I hope you have learned something about the flute. It could take me a second to put my flute back together. Shall we see how that works? Here's one piece. The foot joint, the body, you have to be careful how you put instruments together. Yes, and now I need the head joint. Here is the head joint. Let me see if I can get this back together just in the right way to play. Everything has to be perfectly aligned, I think so. And I will send you off with a little song maybe some of you know.
Bye for now. Thank you for visiting me, Miss Donna, and my flutes.